How long does it take for the new child to be added to my Centrelink profile? Hello and welcome. Today we're going to talk about how long it takes to add a new child to your Centrelink profile. This process can be essential for many people, particularly those who are expecting a child or have recently welcomed a new addition to their family. What is Centrelink? Centrelink is a service run by the Australian Government's Department of Human Services. This service provides a range of benefits, including financial support for those who have children. Adding a new child to your Centrelink profile is necessary to ensure you receive the correct benefits. How do I add a new child to my Centrelink profile? The process of adding a new child to your Centrelink profile involves a few key steps. 1. You should log into your Centrelink account via the MyGov website. 2. Once logged in, navigate to the Family section. 3. Then, select Add a Child. 4. You will be asked to fill in information about your new child, including their birth date and name. It is crucial to keep in mind that Centrelink might ask for proof of birth, which could include a birth certificate or hospital documentation. So, make sure you have these documents ready. How long does it take? The million dollar question is, how long does this process take? The time it takes to add a new child to your Centrelink profile can vary. The actual data entry process on your part is quite quick and should take just a few minutes. However, the waiting period for Centrelink to process this information may take up to 28 days. Keep in mind that this is a general timeline, and actual processing times can vary based on individual circumstances and the volume of requests Centrelink is handling at any given time. In conclusion, adding a new child to your Centrelink profile is a relatively straightforward process, but the processing time by Centrelink could take up to 28 days. Remember, it's essential to provide accurate information and any required documents promptly to avoid delays. I hope this video has been helpful. Please feel free to share your experiences and any tips you may have on this topic. Thank you for watching.